Happy Halloween, boys and girls, and welcome to Going to Bed with Mike and Steve. I'm Mike. And I'm Steve. And uh, where we left off, Dana was about to explore his drawers, which Urban Dictionary will tell you is slang for underpants. Checking out your, uh, checking out your pants. Delving into his drawers um, to see, uh, to, to check on his pulsating eggs. Yes, they're throbbing like mad, ready to go. Chapter 6. Can't stop him. Thump. 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 I had to see what was happening in my dresser drawer. Had the egg hatched? Was the turtle bumping up against the side of the drawer trying to climb out? Was it a turtle? <laughs> <laughs> what like, is this? I felt I, something I, I trying to escape. I don't understand. <laughs> from my underpants. But yeah, his parents clearly like, even though they're really enthusiastic about science, they didn't sit down and talk about the birds and the bees. Oh, we don't cover that type of science. Yeah. We uh, look at, um, we like mutilate animals and <laughs> yeah. squirrels. <laughs> yeah, no, normal no, stuff. No, we, we electrocute white lab rats and, and force them, you know, into, into finding new cheese in a maze. But we we don't None teach of that. child about their own. Sexuality. Your mother and I, we never done it. We just surrogate. <laughs> we we just <laughs> pump it in. You're adopted. <laughs> Was it a turtle, or was it something weird? Well, I mean, if he's expecting a turtle, yeah, it's gonna it's be gonna something be weird. weird. He's never looked at his own penis. Suddenly, I felt very afraid of it. I took a deep breath and rose to my feet. My legs felt rubbery and weak as I... Well, that's because all of the, bl all of the blood is rushing to his crotch. Which is apparently huge. Oh, yeah, he's got a huge Hulk dick. Light. I mean, he's... he's yeah, because he's got ostrich size So every egg, time... Ostrich egg size testicles. Every time, he's just gonna pass out. Yeah, every time. Yeah, they. I think I read that somewhere once that if you had a three foot long penis, every time you had got an erection, you would pass out from the blood rushing. Yeah, I, maybe that's an urban legend. Probably, I, yeah. This probably, is this is information I'm basing on like a conversation I had at a birthday party it's when like I was probably school. like it's twelve. Like, yeah, mine's like three, three feet. It's like, <laughs> wow. Did you have people tell you that? No, I've just heard. I was, I was mentioning. I was thinking in the shower the other day, though, that I, I remember when I was probably five or six. Stephen Dillon, who lived two houses down from me, he went to London, and when he came back, he bought me some souvenirs. Yep. And one of the things that he bought me, which was not London related at all, but he bought me a, a bar of soap that was shaped like Robo, Ooh. like RoboCop's car. <laughs> but oh, I remember nice. when he gave it to me, he told me that uh, I should also use it as shampoo because if you use soap in your hair for shampoo as opposed to regular shampoo, it yep. makes your hair super soft. And you know what? I still, there's still a part of me that like believes him. Like I think about that occasionally. If I'm out of shampoo or something, I'm like, well, this will just make my hair super soft. This is the information of a six year old. There is absolutely nothing. To back up hey, that information, even information as an adult, those commercials, every every hair product makes your hair smoother than the other, and gives you an orgasm <laughs> at the same time. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh. I love L'Oreal. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love L'Oreal. We're not sponsored by L'Oreal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apologies to L'Oreal. We're not. I mean, people would be like, L'Oreal gives you orgasms? Well, well I guess, I, I guess I'm gonna, so. I have to, you know, that's a piece <laughs> of information that. that now they're listening to us. It'll be embedded in their brains. And when they're going Was down Was it them the, who had those commercials? The lady in the shower and she's like, yes. Oh, there was like an orgasm type of. I dude. don't remember. I do remember that vaguely and that it was like controversial and they probably yeah, took it off. They did. Yeah. My legs felt rubbery and weak as I made my way across the room. My mouth was suddenly as dry as cotton. He's got a massive erection. He's got cotton mouth from smoking too much ganja. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like my Saturday night, you know what I'm saying. I clicked on this. <laughs> I clicked on the light, blinked several times, struggling to force my eyes to focus. The steady thuds grew louder as I approached the dresser. Heartbeats, I told myself. I mean, that's true. There are occasions under which I'm not saying, I'm not, I'm not uh, TMI maybe, but, but you, know, you know, you can at times feel your own heartbeat in your own various areas, various areas of your body, your wrist, your times. throat, your. Especially Where? during extracurricular activities. Indeed. Heartbeats of the creature inside the egg. I grabbed the drawer handles with both hands, took another deep breath. Dana, this is your last chance to run away, I <laughs> warned myself. 
This is your last chance to leave the drawer safely closed. I tugged open the drawer and peered inside. I stared in, amazed that nothing had changed. The egg sat exactly where I had left it. The blue and purple veins along the shell pulsed as before. Feeling a little calmer, I picked it up. Ouch! I nearly dropped it. The shell was burning hot. I cupped it in my hands and blew on it. It's gonna help. If you hold a hard-boiled egg when it comes out of the water, that's not really gonna work. <laughs> <Ow>! <laughs> this is so totally weird, I murmured to myself. Mm. Mom and Dad have to see it, I, I decided. Like God. Right now, maybe they can tell me what it is. <laughs> They were still awake. I could hear them talking in their room down the hall. Oh yeah, give it to me, uh, give it to me. Uh, yeah, oh uh, yeah, oh uh, uh, yeah, oh uh, yeah. Mom, nothing, go, what, 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 what? I carried the egg carefully, cradling it in both hands. I had to knock on their door with my elbow. It's me, I said. Dana, what is it? Dad demanded grumpily. It's, it's uh, been a long day and we're all very tired. I pushed their, their I pushed open their door a crack. My parents my parents grabbed their comforter and whipped, whipped it, it over, over their them. bodies. <laughs> <laughs> I have an egg I want to show you. I started. No eggs! They both cried at once. Ow. Haven't we seen a, 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 enough eggs for one day? Mom griped. No eggs. It's a very strange egg. I insisted. I, I can't identify it. I think. Good night, Dana. Dad interrupted. No. Please don't ever mention eggs again. Yeah, ever. Uh, Mom added. Promise. Please don't ever mention eggs again. Promise. It's like y years from then he's gonna be I sitting at sitting at breakfast at a restaurant with his what family. You I'll get uh, yeah. eggs Benedict. What? Yeah. What did we say? <laughs> You're dead to us. Get out. Yeah, get out of the family. Uh, Dana. 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 Well, I... I started down at the pulsing green egg and I stared down at the pulsing green egg in my hand. It'll only take a second if you'll just... Dana! Dad yelled. Why don't you go sit on it and hatch it? Clark, <laughs> don't talk to Dana that way, Mom scolded. He's 12 years old. He can take a joke. That was a funny... That was a, that funny, was a great was joke, funny. Dad. Really good. That's, Thanks, well, dad that's joke. a dad joke, right? <laughs> <laughs> They started arguing about how Dad should talk to me. I muttered goodnight and started back to my room. Good I night. mean, I mean, <laughs> good riddance. He goes back, to become a man. Goes back to his room and sadly masturbates himself to sleep. <laughs> I mean, I can take a hint. Thump thump. The egg pulsed in my hand. I had a sudden impulse to crack it open and see what was inside. But of course, I would never do that. I stopped outside Brandy's room. Uh, no, let's continue back to your room yeah. there, Dana. Let's no. not, let's not, that's not something you share with your little sister. I was desperate to show my weird, oh, no. my weird treasure to somebody. I knocked on her door. No answer. Good. Don't answer the door, Brandy. Don't answer the door. Stay where you are. I knocked again, a little harder. Brandy is a very heavy sleeper. Still no answer. Come on, Dana. Come on. Stop it, Dana. Stop it. I started to knock a third time, and the door flew open. Brandy greeted me with an open-mouthed yawn. What's wrong? Why did you wake me? I want to show you this egg, I told her. <laughs> she narrowed her eyes at me. You, you're serious? After what happened at my party? After the worst birthday party in the history of America? Ever? You really want to show me an egg? I held it up. Yeah, here it is. She slammed the door in my face. <laughs> I don't blame her. You should do the same and then tell an adult, kids. Yes. You mean you don't want to see it, I called in? No reply. Once again, I could take a hint. <laughs> I carried the egg back to my room and Good set hint. it down carefully in the dresser drawer. You know, they always talk about how serious he is. I just now picture him as like Norman Bates sitting in a corner with no expression yeah. on his face. Just look at this egg. Yeah, don't you want to see my egg? Mom, dad, sister. Maybe they don't, ex maybe they're not alive. <laughs> <laughs> then I closed the drawer and climbed back into bed. Mother. Right, it's like the, this is the male version of Carrie, because yeah. in Carrie, she has her period, and then destroys an entire town because uh, she doesn't understand, nobody will help her understand, yeah. uh, nobody will stop picking on her, so maybe... He just doesn't understand, and nobody's listening, cares, anything. Yeah. Mom, Dad, can I ask you about no! puberty? No! No! Never <laughs> talk to me about it again. I fell asleep uh, to the steady throbbing thump, thump, thump. 
Uh, sorry. I carried the egg back to my room and set it down carefully in the dresser drawer. Then I closed the drawer and climbed back into bed. Thump, thump, thump. There's actually a, a movie about this called The White Ribbon, in which it's a small town, and they're ultra-religious, and they forbid the children to masturbate or touch themselves or engage in any sort of sexual activity to the right. point where when they get into bed at night, they tie their hands uh, to the bed railings, but because of the sexual oppression, they need to act out their urges in some other way, and so one of the children starts killing people. That's Don't right. put it away, Dana. Just just take care of it. Just get that baby it's batter. Okay. Just it's get perfectly that, fine. It's, it's normal. perfectly normal. Just get that baby batter out of the brain, or who knows what's going to happen. People are going to start disappearing. People are going to start dying. <laughs> I took care of them. But he, All of them. But he closed his drawers and climbed back into bed. Thump, thump, thump. He fell asleep to the steady throbbing. The next morning, I woke up just in time to watch the egg hatch. Well, yeah, because when you wake up in the morning, I mean, that's... That's your strongest direction of the so, day, uh, right? He yeah, woke up actually. and he just he just saw he saw the uh, the fly of his uh, uh, just kind of open up and out poked the head. A giant out slithered. A giant tent. The long erect snake like creature. <laughs> if that is what it is, we'll find out tomorrow night when we read chapter seven Ooh, of Things Are Picking Up. Goosebumps number forty two. Egg monsters from Mars. Good night, Steve. Good night, Mike.